Yeah, I don't know where to put this is. Mm -hmm. I'm about to do a Q&A. That's what I'll do. Let's do it like a Q&A or whatever. So... Okay. Hi, Virginia. Oh yeah, just in case anybody was wondering, my caption is is accurate as fuck. I'm still not playing. I don't want the kids. And that's what I meant to get fucked my life. That was actually good. But, um. Why the fuck? Oh. But, um. Yeah, if, um. If y'all don't mind sharing. If y'all don't mind sharing this live, please. Because I'm trying to. Well, okay, so it's two things. So I'm trying to get them to the dad because I'm not going to lie y'all. I'm over it. I do everything by my fucking self and I've been doing it for years since I was 15. I'm literally 27. I'm about to be 28 this year. Still nothing. Like these niggas don't help. They don't send no Christmas cards, birthday gifts, presents, no, literally not a damn thing. And as well, okay, my oldest son is 11 and my daughter's is about to be three. So you mean to tell me out of three years and out of 11 years, y'all lazy ass niggas still ain't come up yet? Okay, well, y'all take the kids and I'm going to worry about me focus on school and get my motherfucking shit together because why the fuck not? It's time for somebody else to fucking, you know, step the fuck up and do something. I'm tired. Like every fucking time, like I said every fucking time, I'm, I've been doing it by myself since I was 15. I'm done. I'm over it. 
I'm in two different colleges. I'm working. Um, I'm over. I'm overwhelmed. I was just. It's. I'm done. I really am. I'm just done. I just want to learn. I just want to be able to focus on me, my school, my careers, my jobs. I, I just want to focus on me. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love and adore my kids. They're so beautiful and intelligent. But I don't want them. I'm try. I've been trying literally for two, two, three months to give them to the dads. But literally nothing. Then you got one of the fucking dads is like, oh, what the. Y'all, I kid you the fuck not. I told this man, you, it's time for you to step up and do something. Like, you know, step the fuck up. So then he's like, oh, it sounds like, um, I, like, I literally told him, I said, I'm just trying to better myself. I said, my career is low key on the, is low key on the rise and shit. This nigga gonna look and say, I, y'all, I kid you the fuck not. Why is this? Okay, that's, no wonder why. So yeah, I kid y'all the fuck not. This nigga is going to look and say, why the fuck would I get my kids? <clears throat> I'm trying to say it verbatimly, y'all. Um, this nigga gonna say, why the fuck would I get my kids so you could go and chase your dreams because your dreams are starting to come true? Why would I want to sit there and let your dreams come true? Like, for one, that's the most hating ass shit a, a, somebody could ever fucking say. Literally. So then it's like, okay, cool. You don't, you don't want to get your kids so I can go make some more money and provide for my fucking kids. But... You're because okay. Long story short, you don't want to see me win. Like that's literally verbatimly what the fuck he said. He said, "Why the fuck would I help you win when I'm trying to win?" Wait, nigga, you're not trying to win, bro. Okay, <laughs> y'all. If anybody know who Kendrell Eaton is, or he go by Kike, that's who I'm talking about, y'all. Mind you, somebody get this one, this one dumb bitch a cure on this live because. Yeah, let her tell it. She knew I. She, yeah. Anyway, I'm mad as fuck. That's my motherfucking baby dad. If I knew that's who the fuck her baby dad was, bitch, I would have. Hello, I would not have been talking to him because, bitch, you're you're mad that he's my baby dad. Okay, you can have him back. I never wanted the nigga to be my baby dad. I just got fucking stuck and I couldn't abort the motherfucker. So, bitch, you're mad. I'm mad. Anyway, yeah, I need help to to co help contact these goddamn dads. So they can come and get these fucking kids. Because like I said, I'm done. So, with that being said, what the fuck was I even trying to do? Oh, I done pulled over and everything, y'all. But, um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really just done. So it'd be really nice if y'all could really, like, deadass share this fucking live. Tag these motherfuckers. Something. Because, hello? Because I'm not gonna lie, y'all. It's, um... If by five o'clock, because I don't want it to be late, you know, but if by five o'clock I cannot get the dads to man the fuck up and help, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to drop them off at the fire station. I've already contacted the fire station because I didn't know how the whole shit work or whatever. Because I know, I know you could drop off like newborn babies and shit and not get in trouble. Or I don't know if you get in trouble or not. I don't even give a fuck if I do get in trouble. I don't care. I'm done. So anyway, I, I, I called them and I said, because I don't know about... Now, I don't know about kids and shit, but I know you could drop off, like, fully newborn babies and shit. So, I'm like, okay, well, I told them, I said, I'm not even trying to sound mean, rude, or funny. And I said, I love my kids to fucking death, because I really do. I love my kids to death, but I can't do it the fuck no more. I cannot. Like, I got so much shit going on that I just, I'm fucking done. So, I'm like, can I can I drop them off at your, at your doorstep? That was like, well, we don't really have a doorstep, but you are able to drop them off at the fire station because we got this thing called safe something, like something like pretty much where you don't want your kids or whatever, for whatever the fuck reason. I don't know about what everybody else's main thing reasons are, um, because, you know, everybody got their own reason or whatever. You got some bitches who want to do it because they want to be partying. You got some people who do it because they're on drugs. For me personally, I'm doing it because I'm I'm tired of doing it by my fucking self. Like literally, I got all the kids, twenty literally, twenty four the fuck seven. I got twenty four seven. I don't have nobody to be watching them. JFS keep fucking up my childcare. The dads don't fucking help. The the, the grandmas is dead beats as fuck, and I can't wait to see this one bitch. I can't wait to dog her ass. But anyway, the grandmas is bum as fuck. The dads is bums. 
fucking my mom literally has been stepping the fuck up and it's only so much that she can fucking do too it's not like i can ask my sisters and shit to act to watch my kids because you got one fucking kid she watch them for i mean i said kid you got one sister she watch them for 30 fucking minutes i need a break i'm tired bitch if we if we gotta make some fucking money how the fuck are we gonna make it if you start in, in 30 minutes you're fucking tired i don't have time to be tired i don't have time to be taking breaks bitch no i don't want to deal with that so I'm done. No, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. And then on top of that, it's like, even if I do find somebody to watch my kids, mother, motherfuckers are so fucking greedy. I don't mind fucking paying, but sometimes I actually got to go and get the fucking money to bring back. So some of y'all be wanting money up front when nobody don't win. How the fuck am I going to have the fucking money to pay y'all dumbasses the fuck up front? And I ain't even fucking make no money yet. So what? What the fuck? You want me to just write it down on a piece of paper and then give you a piece of paper or something? I don't fucking know. It's weird as fuck. Then, okay, if I pay y'all to watch the kids, who is about to go out for two fucking hours? What adult is about to go out for two fucking hours and then come right the fuck back? What the fuck would I be paying you for? No, if I pay you to watch my fucking kids, I'm, bitch, I'm gone. I'm leaving. I'm about to go enjoy myself. More likely, I'm going to drop them off late because I'm not coming back for the night. No, I'm about to go enjoy myself whether I'm fucking or not. I'm going to go enjoy myself. But it's not even about that. I could care less about going out, having fun, partying, and all this. It's the fact that when and I'm not even talking about my family, right? Now, I'm talking about the baby dads. It's it is when Okay, we are it's May. May. Goddamn, till January, February, March, March, April, May. Three months, y'all. Three months, I'd have missed out on $25,000 because I don't have nobody to watch these fucking kids. The, the fucking dads don't want to see me win. They don't want to see my dreams come true. Like, that's the most hating ass shit. I don't give a fuck if y'all dreams come true or not, but I'm not about to try to stop you from going, you know, going to go get that shit. I literally missed out on $25,000 in the last three months because I don't have no support system with these kids. I don't have the dads to sit there and watch these fucking kids because they so worried about my dreams coming true and what the fuck they're not and not what they, what, no, what the fuck they are and not getting. Why the fuck do y'all think y'all about to get anything from me? What the fuck do y'all do for y'all kids? I don't want y'all to do shit for me. What the fuck do y'all do for your kids? If you actually did for your kids and actually spent time with them and helped me out or whatever the fuck, then cool, you probably could, probably could see a little bit fucking piece of the motherfucking pie, but y'all tell me why the fuck, why the fuck, okay, y'all, my daughter's dad, I, this dude don't talk to me, we don't talk nothing, he, I didn't even know I still had the nigga's number, and this nigga called me out the fucking blue, mind you, I, I don't talk to him, so he calls me out the blue around, you know, like around tax time, like around March, mind you, the last time I ever heard or saw him, well, I'm not even gonna say saw him, because we don't, yeah, no, we don't do none of that shit. That shit's been dead since before I was pregnant. But anyway, well, when I found out I was pregnant, that shit was dead. But any fucking way, um, yeah, this nigga gonna call me around tax time. Mind you, I ain't seen or got no help from the nigga two years prior since my daughter was born. So he's gonna say, oh, well, which one are you claiming on taxes? I said, which one? I said, what do you mean, which one? Nigga, I'm claiming both of them on taxes. He was like, well, why would you do that in if, if there's two of them and it's still me out here? And I said, nigga... Had you did what the fuck you were supposed to do as a man, as a dad, then yes, you could claim one of them for taxes. But you don't do shit. You don't send no Christmas cards. You don't fucking, you don't buy no gifts. You don't visit them. I can't even ask you, bro, tell me. All my kids, I, y'all, I swear to God, I video, I videotape this shit and I'm gonna post it later. I swear to God, I kid you the fuck not, y'all. I didn't have no fucking money. At this, at this time, my twins, my twins were both in therapy three times a week for different shit. I'm driving them all around Columbus, all around Ohio, from Mansfield, Delaware, fucking Clintonville to fucking, um, we had, we had, they had a fucking, uh, appointment all the way in fucking Indiana. Like it was all type of crazy ass shit. I mean, I'm telling you, I had already got, I was already stranded. I didn't have no money. My daughter's, my daughter was on her last fucking diaper. Y'all, I kid you the fuck not, bro. My daughter was on her last fucking diaper. <clears throat> Mind you, I don't already have, I already don't have a lot of people that I fuck with. I don't have a lot of people that I talk to. So, of course, you know, I already knew I wasn't about to get no help. But it's like, I don't give a fuck. It's like, it was like a last moment, like a, like a last, like a, like, like a last resort type shit. That's the only time I can really hit him up as a last resort type shit. And I literally mean that I cannot hit this nigga up for shit unless it was a last resort type shit. And even then I don't get the help that I need. So anyway, this is like, I didn't already hit up like 10, 15 people. I'm like, bro, can I borrow $10, $20, something? I just need to get, you know, some diapers and wipes to put on my daughters. Like they're on their last diaper. They are, no, at this time, I can't draw the fuck not. 
they was already sitting in their diapers for three fucking hours, bro. Literally three hours. One of them had already shit. No diapers, no wipes, no nothing to clean them up. I call this nigga, bro. I call him. And I'm like, bro, I don't have no diapers, no wipes, no nothing. Don't do it for me. Do it for your daughters because at the end of the day, this is for them. It's not, it's not like I'm about to be wearing the fucking diapers. It's not like I'm about to be wiping my ass with the fucking wipes. Bro, this nigga, <laughs> I kid y'all the fuck not. He's like, um, what'd he say? He's like, um, he's like, why are you calling me? I'm at Target right now shopping for my other kids. And I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, well, shit, you already at Target. Do you mind just going ahead, you know, getting a pack of diapers and wipes? <clears throat> Bro, <laughs> he's like, yeah, cool. I'll bring it. I'll bring it, you know, when, um, when I get done shopping. Hours and hours and hours is going by. I'm texting. I'm calling like, bro, what the fuck? Like, I'm, and I'm, at this point, I can't even go around to no motherfucking, um, I can't even go around to no fucking food pantries or nothing. And I'm sorry, y'all, if I do cry because I'm pissed the fuck off. And I can, I cannot wait till I find this nigga because I'm telling y'all, like, on camera, when I see this man, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. And I'm not lying. <laughs> I'm really not. So, anyway. I didn't have no gas money to try to fucking, you know, like, drive around to no fucking food pantries or nothing to try to get no diapers and shit. And I'm, I'm crying now because I'm mad, but, like, this, this isn't, like, what's happening now. This is, like, the shit, like, this is the stuff that was happening then. So, anyway, and I kid y'all not, y'all, <clears throat> everything I'm saying, I can either post a video about the situation, because everything that happened, I recorded the shit. I'm not fucking stupid. I can post a video, I can post the fucking messages, or phone video recordings, every fucking thing. So, anyway, I'm driving around. No, I mean, I'm not driving. I'm stuck. I can't even drive around to no pantries, no nothing to try to get no diapers, no wipes for my daughter. So we're literally sitting in the same fucking thing for like, um, we're sitting in the car for hours. Like, bro, I'm like calling, texting. I'm like, if you can't even get them no diapers, at least just pick them up and take them somewhere. Do any, like literally any fucking thing will help, nigga. Like any fucking thing. So it's like 11, like no, seven o'clock comes. I'm like, okay, well, I just talked to you like a shit ton of hours ago. Where are you at? Like, you're not calling, you're not answering. So this nigga, what the fuck? He said, I told you I was out shopping for my other kids or whatever. He's like, um, he's like, stop calling my phone. It's like 11 o'clock. So I'm like, I'm like, they already been sitting. Remember the first time I called him, they was already sitting in their diaper for three fucking hours. At this point, they've been in that same, that same fucking diaper for, I don't know how long, but of course I, I, I didn't want them to sit in the fucking diapers, so of course I took the fucking diapers off so that well, that way it wasn't eating at them and shit like that, and you know just kind of winged it out from there. But it's like, it's like um. So at this point, like a shit ton of hours go by, and I'm like, okay, are you not bringing the diapers? He said, no, like I'm not bringing them no diapers and wipes. Figure it the fuck out. But oh my kids, bro, it's so fucking cool. Like you mad because you don't help me with the kids, bro? Like why would I do anything for you? I'm not asking you for help for me. I'm asking you to help me with these motherfucking kids, your kids, right? I can't. I'm over it. Then you got my, my oldest two fucking kids. Then, oh no, my oldest two boys and then my youngest son. The, uh, the oldest two, everybody knows I got those. I got them from rape. I didn't try to take it to court. I didn't try to get help. I didn't try to get everything. Nothing. Nobody gives a fuck. Cool. Whatever. Then we got my, uh, youngest son. Everybody know about his motherfucking dad, Alex Lawson Cobb, that, that nigga, that crackheaded ass, dead ass nigga. Yeah, he's dead as fuck because he thought he, he, he just thought he was so fucking big popping, fucking doing all this, this drug and that drug, fucking with this bitch and that bitch. The same bitch that you thought you was really flexing with is the same bitch that fucking robbed your dumb ass and laced you. What? So yeah, like, it's weird as fuck. Oh, then his retarded ass mama still thinking I'm kill I killed him and shit. I'm like, no, how about you go ask his little go ask your little best friend? The fuck she the one who killed him if you really want to be serious. So I don't know why the fuck you keep trying to trying to say I did it. You wanna know who killed your son, bitch? Nashay Parks. That's the same bitch that go that went killed your son. Go talk to that bitch about it, because I don't give a fuck. Cool, he's dead. Oh fucking well. Get the fuck over. I don't care. Okay? He wasn't helping me when he was alive. He's not helping me while he's dead. So uh for all I give a fuck, that nigga can turn in his motherfucking grave. I really don't care. And I don't care about who else is feeling some type of way about what I said. If you want, we can pull up right now. We can link whatever. I don't care. It's really not the day. Actually, better yet. Hey, better yet. <laughs> I'm going to, um, let me go to this motherfucking store. Get what the fuck I was trying to get. Because, yeah, um, anybody wanted to fight today, we can fight. Um, I don't care whether, whether it's you think I was fucking your nigga. I can assure y'all. <laughs> actually let me throw that out there really quick i've been fucking with one person 
all motherfucking year since sometime last year i can assure you bitch if you can't find your nigga he's not with me that's not my problem you can't find your nigga you might want to keep it on a closer release or i don't know get some better pussy i don't fucking know but your y'all's niggas is not here with me i would tell you if he was so no but if y'all still want to fight we still can um because i don't give a fuck i am going through it not because um not necessarily oh y'all i just fucked up my car look at this look 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 i just hit this motherfucking side so i'm about to go ahead and back out oh y'all hear it Woo. i don't even oh that just sounds bad oh oh that just sounds so bad oh Throw the motherfucking car away. Throw the fucking car away. You know what? Okay, listen. Y'all see me struggling. Get the fuck down here. Like, you see me struggling. Come the fuck on. Damn, bitch. Like, damn. Like, you see me fucking struggling trying to pull in this raggedy ass, rinkity, rinkity dink motherfucking shit. All I want is a fucking FT. And I don't even fucking smoke them, bitches. I stopped smoking tobacco months ago. Literally. Oh, okay, so y'all don't want to help. All right, uh, watch this. I'm going to go ahead and park my car right here, directly in front of the entrance, and I'm going to walk because you see me struggling, yet you don't want to come down here. So I'm going to block your whole little business, and I'm going to go and get me an FT because... Yeah, bitch, use the other side. You didn't see me struggling and hit the thing? You could have came down, but so I'm coming in. Can I get um an FT? I just hit my car trying to get into the thing. And I'm like, okay, nobody's about to come down there and walk up. So I'm going to walk in and get my FT. Can I please get an FT? Oh, I didn't even know you Well, now y'all do. But, um, yeah, so just uh one red word. Uh, what is it? Actually, let me get the sweet one. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty much like the stuff that I'm going well, I'm Okay, I'm not going through none of that. I was just talking to y'all about what was happening prior with my di the diapers and shit like that. But it's like right now, I already got so much. Thank you. I already got so much going on to where. Damn, bro, look at that shit. Damn. Literally trying to get my this car in this rinky dinky dink ass shop. Dumbass bitch. So any fucking way. Like I was saying, I got all of that shit going on. I'm in two different fucking colleges. I'm trying to work. Fucking JFS keep fucking up shit. The dads don't want to fucking help. And honestly, I'm not going to lie. Y'all, y'all really think I'm playing. The dad, like, the dads don't want to fucking help at all. So it's like, okay. I didn't try to tell I'm, I'm going to take you to court. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Still nothing. So I was like, you know what? I don't know. I love my fucking kids, but I'm done. I'm done. So with that being said, anybody who's watching, I'm about to, um, I'm about to post the numbers and shit. Y'all want, y'all can hit these motherfuckers up and tell them to fucking be a dad or, or I don't know if y'all want to take them. Cause look, y'all can get benefits and everything. Um, honestly, actually better yet. Shit. My daughters might qualify for SSI. But I'm not playing. I'm just like, I have to know you. I'm saying, if you feel like you want to take and foster my kids or some shit like that, I don't give a fuck. This is me openly asking for help. I need help. I got a lot of shit going on right now. So, <clears throat> with that being said, uh, if you want to openly foster my ch my children or whatever the fuck, I have to know you. you. Yes, we have to go through the whole little process or whatever. But I still want to see my kids. I still want to provide for my kids and everything. But, yeah, no, if you want, like I said, if you want to foster them, you're more than welcome. Y'all will get benefits if you need, if you can file for food stamps. My daughter's qualified for SSI. Um, it's a couple different things. My son's dad is dead as fuck, and he ain't coming back. In fact, I, st I still gotta go today and spit on that nigga's grave and send the video to his mama. Anyway, but anyway, yeah, I gotta um after I do that shit. But my son's dad is dead. He's not coming back. So my son's dad. I mean, my son survive. Uh, he he you know he qualifies for uh survivors benefits or whatever the fuck. So yeah, obviously not about to ask family. I definitely don't even fuck with family. 
I, I really, I'm just not feeling nobody. I'm not fucking with nobody. I don't want to be around nobody. I'm cool. Like, somebody just take these motherfucking kids so I can get the fuck on. Like, I love them to death, but I cannot give them a better life. I cannot give us a luxury life. I cannot, I can't give us the fucking life that we deserve dealing with this ghetto ass shit. Dealing with the fucking dads. Like, why are you worried about my dreams? How about you just worry about your ch your child? That is all you literally have to worry about is your child. Anything that I do with my life, my career, my business, whatever fucking rapper that you see me with, whatever rapper flies me the fuck out, that has nothing to do with you. The fuck? My boyfriend has nothing to do with you. It don't matter. None of that shit matters. You should worry about you and the fuck what you, what you have to do for your kids. And actually, to be honest, you're literally... You're literally that fucking stuck on a fucking rapper. We're just fucking. He's not even my boyfriend. So imagine when he is, when he do become my boyfriend, you're going to be fucking sick. He's not my boyfriend. So now you just look dumb as fucking bitter as fuck. Worried about the wrong ass shit. I'm not worried about you and your other ugly ass baby mamas. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I don't give a fuck who you're fucking, who you're seeing, who's sucking your dick. I don't care. In fact, shit, can these bitches help you get your kids? So, y'all... It look you feel like good, but it's hot as fuck out. Everybody be fishing. I'll be wanting to like bring my kids here and fish. But y'all, I kid y'all not. Y'all really think I'm playing? Like I didn't literally try to get. I I literally have tried. I literally I called the cops on myself. I called Children's Services on myself. Actually, in fact, I opened a case on myself. They didn't help me. I didn't even get no type of research. No, no. I they didn't. They didn't help me find the dads. They didn't help me with anything. And I did not even get any additional resources at all. So because I voluntarily opened my case after I cussed everybody the fuck out, I voluntarily closed my case. Mind you, everything I'm saying, I can fucking prove if y'all need it. So I have tried to call children's services on myself. No, I didn't try. I did. I called children's services on myself. I called the cops on myself. In fact, I actually called Nationwide Hospital, who, who then called the cops on me, which it was planned, though, because she told me she was going to call the cops and da 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 It was like a little, you know, we had a little plan or whatever. The bitch from Nationwide Children's Hospital, she called the cops on me. She said, when they get out here, you just tell them every fucking thing. I told them every fucking thing. They still didn't fucking take the kids. They said, well, we haven't heard anything concerning. It just sounds like you're overwhelmed and everything you got going on. It sounds like you're about to be doing better than a lot of people around you. I don't care about none of that. Get the fucking kids. Get the fucking kids. So then he was like, um, then he was like, we haven't had, we haven't heard you say anything concerning. So I'm like, you guys just have to hear something concerning. So I started making shit up. I started making shit up. I'm like, okay, I smoke weed every day, all day. I can't live without weed. I'm addicted to weed. I leave my kids home alone. Sometimes they're at the house for eight hours on end by themselves. Although I was lying, I was just trying to get them, I was just trying to tell them something concerning so they would take the kids. This nigga gonna look at me and say, my mom was a single mom, so sometimes if you gotta leave the kids alone in the house, sometimes you gotta do what the fuck you gotta do. Bro, I kid you the fuck not, I've tried. I literally have tried. How is that not concerning? Although it wasn't true, but still. So I'm like, okay. What else can I do for them to come and pick up these kids? I'm not on drugs. I'm not. I'm actually on a straight and narrow, y'all. And it's like, y'all took them when y'all didn't. What? Y'all took them for false reasons. I'm trying to give y'all reasons. It's just weird as fuck. So I try to tell them. I try to lie and say I leave the kids alone and shit like that. Nothing. They still felt like that wasn't concerning. Um, so now, unless I am dropping the kids off at children's service, well, actually, no, I tried that too. I forgot. I tried that too, because I'm thinking, okay, if I drop them here, they have to call the dads. They have to call the dads. Of course, I'm not about to just leave them and just, you know, I don't want to do that. I love my kids. You know, they deserve better than that. But it's like, damn, if I got, if I have to do that in order to get help, then cool. That's what I have to do. Like, I've already talked to my kids. I already told them, like, look. I might have to drop y'all off, and this is what it's gonna look like. This is the stuff they might say, da 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 da. But like, I already talked to my kids. Though. They they know what's going on. They know we just trying to do, just trying to get better. Um. So anyway, I tried to drop them off at children's services. That didn't help. 
Well, I called Children's Services to try to drop him off at Children's Services. Literally, nothing has helped. So, now I got to figure out a way to, how can I put it? I have to effectively find a way to lose my kids in a manner to where they feel good, I feel good, and I can still come back and get them, I can still come back for them and get them back. So, you know, <sighs> let me redo it. I have to effectively find a way to lose my kids in such a manner that is not bad where I can still focus and get our lives together and I can come back for them and with no problem, if that makes sense. For anybody who's probably thinking about respite care, I've tried to do respite care too. Nothing is happening. And it's like, okay. I, I don't, what? So, oh. So then I'm trying to think, okay, what, how can I lose my kids? How can I lose my kids so I can get our life together and then come back for them? Fucking drugs. I, I was thinking, I'm like, okay, boom, I'm going to start popping perks. That is not what the fuck I want to do. I'm not going to do that. I'm, I, I promise y'all, I'm, I'm sure the fuck not about to do that. I don't want to... If I'm trying to lose the kids so I can effectively work without JFS trying to fuck everything up over and over again, if... Yeah, if I'm trying to lose the kids so I can work and better our lives and come back for them, obviously drugs ain't going to do it. And I don't do drugs any fucking way, and I don't want to. So, I'm like, damn, I obviously can't pop perks because I don't want to get addicted to anything. So, I'm like, okay, what's a drug that won't do nothing for me, but it'll be in my system? And I was like, boom, codeine. I'm going to drink some codeine. But I was like, damn, okay, cool. I drink some codeine. It's not going to do nothing for me. It's in my system. But... Here's the thing. I don't have an open case with children's services. I don't have an open case nowhere. So what, where, what am I going to be doing to where I'm getting drug tested and the results is going to be taking my kids? Nothing. So then I would just be drinking codeine for nothing. So I obviously can't do that. Does that make sense? You also like literally I've tried every avenue to get help to better our lives. This, and you know the motherfucking, the cop, bro. <clears throat> Y'all, I kid you the fuck not. The cop said, unless you call us and you say you want to kill your kids or you're actually trying to kill your kids, we are not about to help you. So I'm like, in order for you to help me, I have to tell you some bullshit like that. So I'm like, and I'm like, damn. I'm like, okay. Um, obviously I'm not going to do that because if, although it would be fake, <clears throat> although it would be fake, let me just say, although it would be fake, everybody got to play the fuck apart. Everybody got to play the motherfucking role to make it look believable. So in order to make it look believable, I would have to scare the fuck out of my kids. And make them think I want to kill them. I'm like, what? What? No. What, what? Why the fuck would I do that? Then I'm really not going to fucking get them back. And then on top of that, then they're traumatized. That don't make fucking sense. So in order to get some help with some goddamn kids, you either got to be all the way fucked up or traumatize them. Like, what? That don't make no goddamn sense. Oh, my Twitter, you're so nice. If you want to help me, reach out to these damn dads so they can get these fucking kids. So I can fucking work. And work, we're worried about school. And yes, I'm over it. Like y'all on a mental break. I promise y'all, I'm not. I'm just fed this. I'm just fed the fuck up. I'm hot. I'm hot and cold at the same time because like it's really hot because it's humid, but it's like a little bit of airflow. Yeah. But yeah, come get these fucking kids. Shit. Not you, but call. Um, in fact, hold on, y'all. Let me try to copy and paste because I'm about to copy and paste this nigga's number in the chat find it and i found it okay so i found it y'all i'm about to post this motherfucking number in the chat you either do or you don't because i promise you these kids is gonna get gone one one way or the fucking other i'm so fucking over it i don't care i don't care um fuck i don't even know how to get to my chat y'all oh i found it that's one of the daddy's number the other one i don't got a number for i gotta i gotta go look for it but um yeah Keep blowing that motherfucking number up because why the fuck are you so worried about me? Go, go. Hi, Tina. Uh, I'm going to skip the small talk. I don't want to talk about nothing unless y'all take y'all, unless y'all coming for these kids. I don't want to talk about nothing. I love you to death. I, I'm, I, I know you're doing good. I know you're doing marvelous. I'm, I'm happy for you and I love it. But unless y'all getting these kids, I don't want to talk. I don't want to, I don't want to catch up. I don't want to. No. And I mean, like, we need to be going to court, like, Monday, so I can sign custody and shit over. Um, 
Because don't get me wrong, I still want to see my kids. I still want to provide for them and shit. But this 24-7 being at the house, I'm cool. I'm cool as fuck. But, um... And this would have been so nice to swim in if it wasn't, like, dusty and dirty. Well, I don't know why every time, like, these goddamn rec centers, they decide they want to put a pond in the middle of it and then just fill it with fish. Like, I just, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Bro, I really fucked up my truck like that, too. What a shame. But yeah, don't, don't get me wrong, y'all. I truly do absolutely love and adore my kids, but I just, it's only so much I can do. I feel like I'm 27. I've been, I've held it together. I've held it together for so long. I'm over it. And it's, it's, don't get me wrong. I don't have no feelings or thoughts of wanting to kill or harm my kids. I'll let y'all, I'm going to throw that out there right now. I don't want to harm my kids. I don't want to hurt them or nothing. I don't have no th- no thoughts or feelings or nothing of doing anything of the such. But, and I'm only saying that because of what I'm about to say now. But it'd be situations like this where a mom is doing every, literally, I kid y'all the fuck not. Y'all would have to be down here to believe this shit. I kid you the fuck not. I mean, everything. I'm trying every fucking thing. I, you like it's like this when a, you see a mom trying every fucking thing the dads is just not paying they not they don't give a fuck they're not around and shit but then when shit go wrong everybody start looking at the mom but nobody wants to look at the fucking dad so when i kill this nigga i bet you his mom gonna be looking at me like i didn't kill her son or some shit like that no no like i'm cool somebody come get these fucking kids i'm over it i'm done i'm done 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 so yes I'm going to find the other numbers and I'm going to blow, I'm, I'm going to keep dropping the numbers in the chat, blow these niggas the fuck up. These niggas don't do nothing for their kids. They go, then on top of that, everything I'm saying, I can, I can, po- I can post a picture. I can post a, a, a picture, a video, whatever the fuck. I promise y'all be fucking, I promise you. This nigga says that $196 that I don't always get every fucking month is killing him. That he can't do nothing for his fucking daughters. You don't want to do nothing because you're, now you're mad because you have to pay $196 when I gave you two years to get your shit together. You, I'm sorry, you didn't come up yet, but it's time. I'm done. I don't want them. I love them the fucking death. And here's the thing. I would like for my daughters to go to their dad, but he's like, he's really like a last resort type shit. Like, I promise y'all, like, he's not good for my daughters. He don't care about my daughters. But it's like, right now, I have nobody else to look at but him. But if I can find anybody else to take my daughters, I swear to God, please let me the fuck know because anybody is better because... I know for a fact, if I, like, say if he was to come and get his daughters today, which I promise y'all, I know he's not. I know for a fact that he's not. But it's like, he's going to, he's going to, I can show y'all my last messages. He's going to do everything he can to make it hard for me to see them. He's not going to want me to check up on them. He's not going to do none of that. Mind you all, I kid you, the the same live, the same, uh, same shit I said in the live last year, the year before. I don't stop this nigga from trying to get his motherfucking kids. When the, I swear to God, the moment he want to step up and be a dad, nigga, my, we don't have to talk. Come and get them. You are able to be a dad, but you don't want to because you're worried about me. You're worried about what the fuck I got going on. I don't give a fuck what you got going on. And then he's like, oh, you know, he going to say, um, what the fuck? He said, I can't, I can't be a dad and pay child support. Okay. So you mean to tell me? You can't be a dad if you have to provide for them. So you're either going to watch them or provide for them. But you don't do either. Please, somebody make it make sense. And I and, I, and <clears throat> anybody in my um, in my twins entire family, I don't fuck with nobody in that entire family except for literally two fucking people, which is uh, his aunt or the girl's aunt. What is it? Cause, yeah, it's their aunt. But um. Uh, their aunt Joni, I, it's either Joni or Jody, but I'm pretty sure it's Joni. But that's really the only person I really talk to in that family every now and then. Um, and his cousin Keisha, <laughs> those literally in, in that entire family, those are only two people I like. I don't care about nobody else. But even then, it's like my uh, actually, and I'm a, I'm um his aunt. And I'd be I'd be I'm, before I say anything. His aunt has tried to build more of a relationship and a bond with my twins than he has. 
literally, I kid you all the fuck not. His aunt sometimes will, well, before, like, she was, hey, can we meet the, uh, twins, da 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 Oh, okay, cool. So, oh, then, um, I just found out that she was, she was telling me, like, long story short, that he's been telling everybody that they're not allowed to see my twins. I don't want nobody talking to me, you know, none of this other shit. So I'm like, damn, I get it if you don't want to be the fucking dad, but you done told the, the rest of your family that I don't want my twins around them. No, actually, what I did say, um, no, I did say that at one point because everybody was acting petty as fuck. And I'm like, okay, well, until all this shit can get resolved, nobody's about to see my twins. But when I'm saying when it wasn't like that or when shit was resolved, he's still going around telling people that I don't want nobody around my twins. Da, 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 da. I'm like, what? Like, what? No, the fuck? If y'all want to build a bond with these motherfucking twins, please come and grab them. Build a fucking bond. But when I call and check on my babies, let me know what's up. But, you know, other than that, like, Yes, y'all can come, but he's so bitter. He's telling them all type of crazy ass shit. Like, nigga, if you don't want to be in your kid's life, why the, why the fuck your family can't be in their life? It's really all about the help. I don't care who like me, who don't like me, but it's all about the kids at the end of the fucking day. But it's like, I do this shit by myself. Your cops more than welcome to come get the fucking kids. But I promise you, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a still record that motherfucking conversation. Okay. Y'all, just like I said, I said the same fucking thing. I did the same thing. Even if it wasn't so dusty, bro, this water would have been so peaceful. Oh, my mama would have been peaceful as fuck. And I want to kind of fish my damn self. But yeah, it's like. Y'all, share this lie, because, yeah, why the fuck not? Share the fucking lie, so, other people, not just the dads, but the other people, can come and see the motherfucking shit, and be like, oh, yeah, let me go, let me, let me go get my grandchild, let me just take my grandchild for a week or something, shit, I'll pay the fuck. Why is this nigga texting me all type of shit? I don't, you're, you're, te he's texting me all type of stuff other than what the fuck he needs to be doing. Oh no, Kenya, there'll be three in, uh, November. But, um, yeah, and it pisses me off because when I call children's services, they first, they told me that I could do respite. And I'm like, okay, cool. I can do respite. Cool. Because it allowed me to still have custody of my kids. I can still pick them up and see them for a little, you know, like, um, for however long I need respite. I can get respite for however long I need to get my life together, get my shit together, focus on my fucking health because I got a health scare or whatever the fuck y'all want to call it. So yeah, it's like, I want to focus on my health and all this other shit. But now, oh yeah. But it's like, I don't really care. To literally fuck up my day. I mean, it probably sounds like my day's already fucked up, but I'm not. I'm just talking. Ugh, it's so hot. But y'all, when I... Um, okay. So, um... Oh, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get the, uh, what's your names? The messages and shit. It is so hot, y'all. That's why I don't like being mad. I don't like uh, crying. I don't like none of that. Never mind. Phone's dead. I don't like doing none of that because I don't like getting hot. But. And it's funny because, like. Yeah, I might cry or whatever because, like. I don't know, y'all. He, cause, like, he's texting me right now. He's texting me all type of shit. Talking about, oh, you sound strung out, da 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 da. How the fuck do I sound strung out? Because I want you to take the initiative to get your kids and stop worrying about what the fuck I'm doing so I can actually fucking worry about me, my career, like, you know, co parent like two normal people. Like, you sound dumb. And the nigga can't read. So, like, why, why you keep texting me? Can't even spell either. But literally, he's not saying nothing new. He literally... 
honestly, whoever called him, thank you. But, um, I'm pretty sure exactly whatever the fuck he said on the phone, he must have made it sound pretty fucking good and everything because this nigga is calling me and texting me saying I'm not getting them. Okay, I know that. But you, oh, you, you are. Oh, you are. Because I promise you, I don't give a fuck. It's either y'all gonna get these, you gonna get your, your, your you gonna get your kids. Y'all niggas is gonna get y'all kids or they're going to the fire station. Simple. It's simple. Because, and it's funny because, um, I don't know, probably out loud. I don't know, probably out loud. I probably do sound fried as fuck or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't give a fuck. But I'm pretty sure the same motherfucking people that is doing a lot of this. First of all, I really don't give a fuck what nobody got to say. Because y'all don't know what the fuck I be going through. Y'all don't know what I went through with these fucking kids. I don't, I really don't give a fuck. But I mean, shit, if y'all gonna do this, run it to the next fucking person who could offer me some goddamn help. Shit. Shit. Um. Something at this point. And then I'm so tired of everybody saying, we know where you live. We know where you live. Okay, bitch, I know where I live too. If you was really about it, you would have been pulled up and did something. Shit, stop telling me you know where I live. Okay, send a postcard and let me know something. I don't fucking care. I'm so, I don't know why the fuck y'all bitches be doing that. Y'all know I don't give a damn. If it, I don't know. I don't know if it hasn't been clear for a while. Outside of like this little shit that's annoying me right now, like regarding the kids and shit, I don't really care about much. I really don't. But I don't care. If y'all missed out on $25,000, you would be mad as fuck too. Because why the fuck, yo, why the fuck my, my baby dad think that if I go, okay, he thinks that if he watches his kids, like you're not watching your kids, my nigga, like you're weird as fuck. I'm not paying you to watch your fucking daughters. So anyway, this nigga think that because I go and mind you, I model, I do music, I do whatever the fuck I got to do for my money. Um, he thinks that he's about to get a piece of it. So if I go down to fucking Miami and I come back with 25 bands, he thinks he's supposed to get three. You're not getting shit from me. I don't give a fuck. You're not getting shit from me because you don't do nothing. Anything I do on the time you're supposed to have your kids, mind you, I'm just saying this is hypothetically speaking because he doesn't get his kids. So, yeah. Like, that don't make no fucking sense. Like, you doing everything to try to take money out of my pockets, but yet you don't know how to get the fuck up and go get the money yourself. You want to try to bum off of me. And that's, not, honestly, that's really why he's mad. And because, um, when I got pregnant, I was on birth control and I took a plan B, but I didn't know that they they singled each other out. I was just trying to take the the extra initiative because that, that was just a nigga I was fucking. I was, it was not supposed to go no, no further than nothing because when I realized he was a broke ass nigga, a really a bum for real, it actually, no, it wasn't even that. Cause I, I, I could work with a bum. I could, bro, I could work with a broke nigga because I'll be broken. So I'll be, you know, I'll be having my little broke moments too. But the difference between me and these broke niggas, I'm gonna get the fuck up. I'm gonna change my situation. He, I gave him every fucking app opportunity, every avenue to try to change his fucking situation. Y'all, I paid $2,000 for some pills so he could fucking flip that shit. No, I, I said 2000 It was, a, it was, a, he got a big ass bundle. So we paid like, I don't know, like, I don't, it was a lot. Okay. I'll get, I paid for that shit out of my pocket because he didn't have the fucking money. But you know me, fuck, you can't go get no job because you wanted to jump off the porch so bad, didn't know what the fuck you needed. Yes, yes, Arnisha, he is on child support. And they don't do shit. They he texted me, he'd be like, oh, I can't pay, I can't pay child support and be a dad because that 196 is taking all my fucking money. <clears throat> I said Monday. <laughs> uh, um, he'd be like, oh, that 196 is taking all my money. I'm sorry, if that 196 is taking all your fucking money, then you need a better career choice. And obviously you ain't selling drugs the right way. So I mean, one, something, something's not right because two and two is coming up with 14 and nigga, and that don't make sense. So, and here's the thing. I'm not, y'all already know I don't do this whole bashing shit because it's not just one baby dad. I got, I got two all together. I got three dusty ass bum ass niggas. And you know what? That's just the kid. That was me. I didn't know how to choose niggas. Shit, they, they, I thought I was dealing with a real nigga. Obviously, I wasn't. But any fucking way, I don't try to do this whole bashing shit. 
I really don't. But sometimes it is what the fuck it is. Like literally. Because just I promise you, he's gonna make it he's gonna he's gonna make it seem like, oh I don't want my kids because I wanna chase after a nigga, da 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 da. I can't chase after a nigga if I'm single. And then two, I do have a nigga that I'm fucking with, but yes, honestly, sometimes I would like to just chill with my nigga all fucking day. Sometimes I wanna go out and just relax, go to a bar, maybe go shoot some pool, fucking visit a goddamn art gallery. I've been wanting to go wine tasting for the last fucking I don't know how long the fuck so if, i'm sorry if i do want a little bit of time to worry about me my school my careers my jobs my modeling all my different avenues that's gonna make me and my motherfucking kids rich why you still not doing shit then yes the fuck yes please come get your kid i would like to go on a date the fuck i ain't had sex in okay let, let me stop because my, my, my nigga be dicking me down but i'm just saying arnisha when i tell you i, I Oh, I, I wish this phone was not dead. Oh, wait, oh, I got the charger. I got the charger, y'all. I've been had the charger. So, anyway, Arnisha, when I tell you, I call children's services. I, I kid you to fuck not. I call children's services on myself. I opened the case on myself. I called the cops on myself. I even, um, just yesterday, I called Nationwide Children's Hospital and me, I ended up talking to the head supervisor or whoever the fuck it is that runs the entire hospital. I, they ended up get, I ended, they ended up patching me through to her. She had some friends and she said she was going to make this call, that call. She's like, hey, okay, we have a plan in place. All, all I need you to do is just tell the cops what I'm, what, uh, pretty much what you got going on and da 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 da. Arnisha, the, she told me, she, she did exactly what she said. Every, it was, everything was going as planned. She called the cops on me. The cops came out. I told them every fucking thing. They said, oh, we can't help you. It don't sound like you have nothing concerning going on. And I said, what do you mean? I don't have nothing concerning on. I just told you everything that was fucking concerning. So then he was like, um, it don't sound like you're trying to kill your kids. So pretty much I got to be extremely, really screwed. I have to be extremely fucked or I got to be trying to kill my kids to get some goddamn help. And I'm not trying to kill my kids. I don't want to hurt my kids. I don't want to do none of that shit. And I'm obviously not about to traumatize them to get a little bit of help. That don't make sense. So it's like, yes, sir. Good. It's afternoon now, but good afternoon. You slept in late. Looks like you needed to sleep. Well, do you go to a park? Yeah. No, oh, no, not right now, because she's about to be right in here in a second. I don't know. Give it about five more minutes and see. We'll see what's going on. But yeah. in the meantime, you can wipe the sleep off your face. So go get a rag and start wiping your face and stuff. Well, I just should have been them rain every day. You cannot play in the rain every day. I don't know who told you that. It actually would be nice to kind of play in the rain today, huh? Auntie said that. Auntie said that. Who was auntie because ain't nobody here but me? She says mom. She's not here. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. But <laughs> No, me <laughs> was that. See, it, you need to go change your pants, too. Go change your pants. Me wipe the soup off your face. Me? Yesterday, me was at 60. Yeah. Oh. Yesterday. Whose mom said that? Oh, okay. No, no, that makes sense. Well, I don't know. I don't know about all that, but we'll see. It probably would be a good day, but go wipe, go wash your face and uh, change your pants. Look, what is it? Oh, no, don't worry about it. Nope, we'll leave it exactly where it's at. We're going to mind the business that pays us. Thank you. But yeah. Yeah, I even, yeah, I tried the respite care. Um, cause I'm like, cool, I can do three days. I mean, even something, I can clearly think something. But anyway, he's like, um, he's like, oh, well, even for you to get respite care or whatever, but you haven't said anything concerning. So I was like, okay, you have to hear something concerning. So I'm like, okay, everybody knows I do smoke weed. It is legal or whatever, but, but you're not supposed to. I don't know. So long as they're short, I'm like, hey, okay, well, I smoke weed. I smoke weed every day. Not concerning. So I'm like, okay, well, I mean, I'm not on drugs. I'm not, I don't do shit. So I'm like, okay, at this point, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm like, okay, at this point, I need to start making shit up. So I'm like, the first thing, <clears throat> the first and only thing that I did make up, which did seem like, I, I, me personally, I felt like that would have, that would have worked. I, I lied. I was like, well, I mean, I leave the kids by the, by the, uh, you know, I leave the kids here at the house by themselves um sometimes it's for eight hours sometimes it's during the day and during the night like i felt like 
I felt like that was concerning. I felt like that was a good lie. I felt like I, I did something with that one. No, they didn't. They was like, uh, this nigga literally had the fucking nerve to tell me. Um, what'd he say? He's like, oh, well, my mom was a single mom. Um, yeah, he was like, my mom was a single mom and me and my sister was left alone all the time to, you know, fend for ourselves while she worked and stuff. So he was like, if you gotta, if you gotta do it, then, you know, do what you gotta do. And I'm like, nigga, what? Excuse what? What? If y'all don't, bro. So obviously that wasn't concerning either. And it was like, okay. It's not, and it's not like, oh, I don't want my kids because I want to run the streets and do this and do that. No, I want to fucking, I want to be able to work unlimited hours. I want to go and make hell of motherfucking money without it being a fucking problem. I don't want to, like, what? Uh, okay. You, I got people who be like, oh, I'll watch the kids for you for like a week or whatever. And I'm like, oh, because everybody knows me. I will literally, like, mind you, I just got out of the hospital. So it's like, right now, I don't. I don't want to talk to nobody. I don't want to, you know, so it's like, um, oh, uh, what's your name? You know, like I got people, I'll, I'll, I tell people, like, I'll tell exactly exactly what the fuck is going on. I'm like, if I, if I got food stamps and no money and I'm like, okay, I got food stamps I can give you. So like, if, say, if, um, say, let's just say hypothetically, somebody wanted to pay, wanted to charge me $300 to watch the kids or some shit. And I'm like, okay, well, I can either give you that 300 when I get paid or I can split it up to where you, I'll give you 150 in cash. And right now I, you know, I got three, I mean, I got $150 of food stamps that I could put in your house, but you don't have to worry about that because outside of the 150 that I'm going to put in your house, I'm going to also bring food for my kids to eat. So they're not digging into your food. So I was like, don't, wouldn't that make sense though? So like, I don't care. Like I will tell people if I got it or I don't, and I'll, you know, I'll bargain. I'll do whatever. I'll do all of that. I'm tired of having to do that. I'm tired of when I'm, when I, when I, when my daughter is this shit, don't got no diapers and wipes or whatever, and DoorDash is slow, and this, this is that's slow. It's not like, oh, it, it just makes me so fucking mad. If I didn't miss out on twenty five fucking thousand dollars, I wouldn't have to be talking to nobody right now. I wouldn't be having to ask nobody for no motherfucking help. But you so worried about what the fuck I got going on? Cause don't nobody want to be with your broke, dusty ass, nigga. You, I ain't touched you since I left you alone when I was pregnant. My daughter is almost three. I haven't touched you in almost three years, and you're still mad. Why would I want to touch you? Why the fuck? So it's like, okay. But anyway, like I was saying, it's like, it's not like I want to leave my kids to, you know, go chase, uh, run the streets and all this other shit. I just want, I, I just want a fucking year. A year to myself. I don't give a fuck who you are. Because honestly, I get shit happens. But I don't see how the fuck y'all broken. You don't got kids. You don't got kids. You don't have nobody holding you the fuck back. You can work unlimited motherfucking hours or whatever. It's not my fault that y'all's lazy. So with, as far as my kids go, I think it's time for the dads to step the fuck up. Y'all already fucking broke as fuck. Literally, y'all have no fucking money. Like, y'all don't want to help me. You the fuck, okay, here. And then you, then you got the fucking one with his motherfucking wife who, oh, okay, well, we'll help you, but we need the food stamp car. Why the fuck would I give you the food stamp card as your child this is for my house and for those who are helping me watch my kids but you have a whole it's always something stupid I can't even be like it's when I tell y'all it's so fucking dumb so honestly I think what is best that the kids go with their dad for a year or two because honestly it's probably gonna take me six months to maybe a year to come up to um well shit because the last time I it took me three months to come up with over over thirty thousand dollars so imagine what the fuck i'm gonna come up with if i have a whole year to myself a whole two years to myself and that's what the, that's the thing like my baby dads don't want to see because they don't want to see me win because they know they know for a fact they know for a fact because every time i turn around these niggas is trying to do whatever they can to um it's not even them though it's not even just the dads it's the baby mamas it's the fucking aunties the uncles it's everybody else like they they don't know because they know I don't personally give a fuck about them or what the fuck they got to say and they can't fuck with me. So what they do is they come after my money or my kids because those are only two things that will literally make me piss the fuck off if you come after my kids or my money. And honestly, they done tried it both and they went now it's like Saudi as fuck. But here's the thing. Y'all want to keep trying to come after me for all this and this and that. Y'all can take the fucking kids. Y'all can get benefits. Y'all can get food stamps. Y'all can probably get... um. I don't fucking know, but y'all can sure to fuck get the shit that I can't fucking get. So yes, go and do all of that. Like it's it's my turn to be, it's my turn to be the fucking baby dad. We gonna put it just like that. 
it's my turn to be the fucking baby dad. Like, it don't even make sense. Like, it's weird as fuck. Like, how... What? Like, that is weird. Like, who's... Well, why Why are baby mamas and baby dads in competition? It don't matter who the fuck is doing better or who's doing worse. I don't get it, but no, these niggas are so fucking bitter. Bitter as fuck. So worried about me, what I'm doing, what I'm not doing. First of all, y'all can't even worry about what I'm not doing because I'm... Obviously, because y'all aren't doing anything at all, I'm doing every fucking thing. So... What and then what? Okay, we go to court. I'm I'm trying to tell you, like, literally, I took it. I took the initiative and I went and I printed out the paperwork. No, I didn't print out the paperwork. I went up to the courthouse and I got all the custody papers. And I'm custody paper for you, custody paper for you, custody paper for you. Just fill this shit out. That's all you gotta do is fill this shit out, and they will waive the fucking fee. Just fill this shit out, turn it in, and they will waive the fee when we go to court. We ain't even gotta go to the goddamn courtroom because we're gonna go straight to mediation. Because you about you gonna you gonna leave with these motherfucking kids, but we're gonna have some a couple rules and stipulations. Like I can still see them. You can't try to hide it. You can't try to run with them from me, type shit. Like we're still gonna have rules and stipulations. We're still gonna be able to co parent, but you're not about to make it where I can't see my kids. Cause I'm not stopping y'all niggas from seeing y'all kids. Y'all just don't. I know we don't have to talk or nothing in order for you to come and get your kids. All you gotta do is text me Friday, four PM, uh, pick up. Uh, Saturday or some shit, drop off. That's, we don't have to, how's your day going then? I don't, cause I don't care how your day is going. I don't. I just want to know when you're picking up these kids and when you're dropping them the fuck off. Does that not sound like a good co-parenting to me? It really does. And, um, of course we would, you know, we would have to talk about like shit like, okay, what if one of them got a doctor's appointment or on some medicine or something? Then yeah, we would have to, we obviously have to have that conversation about like important shit. But every time, like, okay, for example, when I call my girl's dad and I try to talk to him, just like not about personal shit, but just like, hey, you know, what can we do to co-parent and da 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 For some fucking reason, y'all, I kid you the fuck not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna try to call this nigga when I get around when my when this phone when this phone cuts on and shit, I'm gonna call this nigga. And I'm gonna PF said Yeah, I do have Title 20. This is now the fourth time that JFS has done did some stupid ass shit with my child care. So I have another state hearing. Like they, I'm not gonna like JFS. They, they really fucked up because I already got a lawyer and everything. Like they really fucked up so fucking bad. And I don't even think they can come back from this. And I'm not gonna lie. I'm happy they fucked up this fucking bad because when that money come, I'm gonna be even happier. The fuck? Like, yeah, the lawsuit me and my lawyer got going. Yeah. I ain't gonna talk too much about that, but just, just know. But any fucking way, um, but yeah, I do have uh, the t whole Title 20 thing. They keep taking my kids off the roster for no reason. Now, and I'm like, um, I'm like, why do y'all have to, why do you, I don't, okay, is anybody else's Title 20 doing this? I don't know if it's my re my retardedized caseworker or some new rules or whatever the fuck, but they only give me childcare. Mind you, I'm in two different colleges. Literally, I could pull this shit up. I'm at Full Sail University and uh, OSU. And, um, and I'm working, like, I got, like, all these different qualifying activities. So it's like, um, why the fuck y'all keep trying to give me Title 20 for two weeks? Why y'all keep trying to give me daycare for a, a month, two months, three months? Why are you guys trying to do that when I don't graduate with my bachelor's until next year? I'm still a, a whole year. And then I'm not even graduated from this school yet. I'm still in school and I'm still working. Like, why y'all keep doing that? Y'all keep fucking me up. So, okay, cool. That's cool. I fucking got them because they did, they did a whole bunch of other shit too. As far as plagiarizing, um identity that like it was really just a whole bunch of shit that went down but um yeah i'm so over jfs and shit i'm i'm really and that's honestly that's another thing i'm, I'm i take these fucking kids because that way y'all can deal with the fuck the shit i'm going through and y'all can see why i be stressed the fuck out because i don't care my all my sperm donors or whatever the fuck it's only two living you know i'm not i'm not gonna lie it's It'd be nice if these two niggas could drop dead too. Shit. I'm not even trying to be funny because y'all not, the fuck are y'all alive for? Y'all not helping me out any fucking way? Shit. Drop dead like the other one. That's the best thing he could have did. Literally the best thing he could have did. So, I don't know. But literally that, that was literally the best thing my son's dad could have did was die. Literally, that was the best thing he could have did for my son. The best thing he could have did for me. The best thing he could have did for himself. So, 
and hopefully if i die well no nah, let me that, that came out all the way wrong but yeah that was literally the best thing he could have did shit um i had a dream actually like a couple weeks ago that uh my um my girl's dad's baby mom hit me up talking about he got shot and all type of shit man i woke up so fucking quick because bitch why are you telling me i don't give a fuck if it was a dream or not why, why are you telling me you act like i'm about to say oh get better or get well no nigga pull the plug because my daughters could get survivor's benefits they could actually get some help so yeah I, it sounds fucked up but oh well this is exactly where i'm at yes better yet hmm I need how can I find out if any of these niggas got life insurance? Because if they got life insurance, that's all I fucking need at this point. That's all I fucking need. No, I'm just let me stop playing. <laughs> let me stop. Because <laughs> they be like, oh, she's plotting. But no. Um, but no, seriously, I mean, if they died, survivors benefits, I mean, I would get some kind of help. I'm just being serious. But yeah, so it's like, what, what if, hmm, okay, I'm not saying this is what I want to do, but while I'm thinking about it, not like, it's in my head because I wonder if somebody has done this before. Has anybody ever got the, got a bomb ass job and got like life insurance, this like beneficiaries and all this other shit, right? Has anybody ever got a job, put their baby dad on, on on the um life insurance policy and then had that nigga killed and, and collected the money? I feel like some, I mean, obviously that is not, not where I'm going, not what I want to do. But I'm wondering if somebody's ever did that. Because y- you have to know me to know that I'm not just saying all this because like I'm mad or, no, I'm literally an oddball. Like I literally have conversations like this. So, yeah, you can... Um, cater to yeah that's that's where yeah that's oh shit yeah that's what i did all of that because my daughters they um my daughter's been in therapy since they was eight months they're about to be three they're in therapy every week so like we're already with early intervention um but yeah yeah so i'm with i'm already with all of them it's like there's only so much they can do because we don't know like i already got the title 20 the kids is already like the kids is in school um the girls they they're still a little bit behind because of their um the, like, because they were born um they were really really tiny when they were born they were like two pounds like literally like smaller than my hand and like literally like they were like really small like they look like a fucking baby hamster so <laughs> all little babies but um yeah they was really small when they were born so it's like we didn't already went through a lot of things and some um some things i also already had to use because <clears throat> like i said my they was already in, like uh you know therapy and shit every week since they were born and is some at one point they had therapy each of them had therapy three times a week for different shit so I was literally all over Ohio and everything so it's like a lot of the resources I, that they have i've already had to use some of them because I didn't have nothing else in it, and it's only so so many. So it's only so long that they can help you. But I've been—I I didn't reach out to all these organizations. Everything, nothing, literally nothing at all. And a lot of them are offering stuff that we already have. Like, there's literally nothing else that could happen that is going to help this situation even better, except for them actually getting their kids. Because I literally can say I have tried and done everything. So yeah. And it, it is sad, though, because, like, I know a lot of people are like, oh, bitch, I probably sound like I'm on drugs. I probably sound like I don't give a fuck. I don't know. I really don't care how I come off to y'all. But I do. Some of y'all I can obviously see because, like, some of y'all do know me personally. But I can tell, like, some of y'all, y'all already know, like, I'm not I'm not having no mental breakdown or um, no mental issues or anything like that. It's me literally just this is me putting my pride aside and literally saying, I have literally tried everything. Like, y'all, when I tell you this is literally my last resort, I have tried everything. I already told y'all a lot of the different avenues I went to literally try to get that help. But I've li- I've literally tried everything. So it's just to a point to where... It's, okay, how can I put it? Sometimes, it's not wrong. Like, <clears throat> sometimes, like, you'll hear a story saying, like, oh, the mom just dropped her kids off and left and never looked back. 
now some there are some people who do that and you know I don't, I'm not about to judge nobody because I don't know what the fuck their situation is. I mean, shit, look at me. I'm about to drop my kids off at the fire, fire department. It's not because I don't love them, not because I don't want them. It's because I've literally tried every ab avenue. I kid y'all not. I've tried every avenue between all these different organizations, all these different attorneys, programs, everything. I've tried to get everything. I've even reached out, put my pride aside, put my differences aside, and even try to ask the families of the dads. And you know, I've tried everything. And actually, my, um, my daughter's dad's aunt, I called her and she called the dad and he cussed her out and then told her to stop calling him and blocked her. So it was like, when I tell you these niggas just don't want to be dads, they just don't want to be dads. And it's like, it's fucked up because I'm the only one who wants to be a parent to my kids. But it's not like, oh, I don't want to. I literally, I can't do it right now. And only, only if y'all actually knew why I'm doing it or why I'm acting the way I am, I don't have a lot of time. I really don't. Like, I'm really about to punch my clock and I don't have a lot of time. So that's why I'm also acting the way I am. I have to get this money. So when I die, they have something, if that makes sense. I'm not about But yes, I don't have a lot of time, y'all. I really don't. So I don't have a lot of time. So if y'all want to start a GoFundMe or something, I don't even know how to fucking do that shit. If y'all want to start a GoFundMe or some shit to where I can we have so many um, for my kids or whatever, and I can put that shit in a bank and a... Um, not <clears throat> Goodness, not my bank. Let me add that. So I could put that in a bank account for the kids that will earn compound interest over time and they can't touch it until they're a certain age. And then cool, we can figure out how to do that or whatever. I don't have a lot of time, y'all. I really don't. I'm not scared to die. What I'm scared to do is leave my kids with nothing. So yeah, call it what you want. The fuck, the cat's out the fucking bag. That's exactly why I need somebody to go ahead and get my fucking kids so I can work because the dads ain't going to do it. Because I, when I live here, when I leave this motherfucking earth, my kids are not about to have nobody that's about to look out for them like I'm trying to look out for them. Their dads don't give three fucks about them. Nobody's about to look out for my kids the way I know I'm going to or the way I have. So, yes, that's exactly why I'm acting the fucking way I am now. I don't have a lot of fucking time. I'm not scared to die, like I said. I'm scared to leave my kids with nothing. And that's why I have to do everything before I die to get them everything. So, yeah. Cats out the fucking bag. I'm not scared to die. I just don't want to leave my kids with nothing. I don't care. So if I got to sound fucked up, selfish, um, if I got to sound fucked up, selfish, um, uncaring, uh, manipulative, or I don't know, like I'm on mental or something. I don't fucking know. I don't care. I really don't care. I'm going to sound whatever I got to be, but I bet you my kids are going to get the shit they need, though. I bet you I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a boss up the way I need to before I die for these kids. I promise you that. So I don't really care. Like I said, I'm not scared to die. I've been dead for a really long, long time if you really want to be serious, but I'm not scared to die. I'm scared to leave my fucking kids here with nothing. I'm scared to not have nothing in place for them. Like, don't get me wrong. I already been working towards a luxury life for my kids, but I might not be able to make it there. I, I might not be able to get there like I thought I would because, you know, life happens. Shit happens in between plans. So before I punch that clock, I'm going to do whatever the fuck I got to do. So if I have to, t and here's the thing, I'm taking a risk that these niggas wouldn't dare to take for themselves. I'm taking this risk for me and my kids. So if I got to lose my kids or get rid of my kids just to boss the fuck up, then I'm going to do that shit. Because these niggas left their kids and they ain't bossed up yet. That's not my problem. I don't care if I sound how the fuck I sound. No, I don't have no family that I really trust. These niggas will choose an op over me real fucking quick. You got one who, who want to talk about, oh... So you you open your legs to every fucking body, which ain't fucking true. She really just dusty as fuck mad because her nigga gave her herpes and shit. Why you talking, bitch? I don't talk to my family. I don't fuck with my family. I don't fuck with none of that shit. I don't. So no, I don't. I don't have nobody. I don't trust my family. I don't fuck with my family for real. Uh, I go. I got like a couple. Of, like I do talk to like like my cousin anthony well i don't talk to him but we don't have problems my cousin tamaz i don't have problems with him but we're all in different cities and shit and my nigga could tamaz that nigga got just as many kids as me if not more so <laughs> that's my nigga that's i'm not gonna lie that is my favorite cousin y'all i swear to fucking god that is my favorite cousin we can go seven years without talking if he called me and he need me to come and beat a bitch or something i promise you i'm on my way tamaz i promise <laughs> 
just just say it just say the word but no that's my favorite uh that's my favorite cousin but no i don't have nobody i don't have nobody that i could trust and i don't have nobody that i could talk to i don't have how can i put it i don't have nobody who would defend me truthfully when i'm not there i don't have nobody who's going to defend me because honestly anybody who says they would defend me is going to be the same people that's going to sit there and talk about me to the next people because the same the same bitches i was spending the last couple summers with is the same bitches i just found out was saying all type of crazy shit behind my back so when i decided to do what i wanted to do and i decided to say, okay y'all want to be grimy i'm gonna show i'm gonna show y'all bitches how grimy i can get too so yeah But no, I don't have nobody that I could talk to, nobody that I could trust. I don't. And it's like, oh, and then he'd be like, oh, he'd be like, oh, well, you're fucking with a rapper, da 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 da. Why the fuck do that matter? Okay, just because people rap, I'm not about to make it seem like nobody's struggling because nobody is struggling. I'm gonna go ahead and put it out there like that. But I'm just saying, I don't know if, if I don't think, I don't know if y'all remember how my Valentine's Day went. But that nigga already did enough to literally put me in a position to fucking win. He already did enough to put me in a position to better certain shit. And I'm already doing that. It's only so much that people can do for me. He gave me, he gave me, he gave me the sauce. Okay. He paid my financial aid. Do you know how much, do you know how much that shit was? He paid my financial aid. He, he, what, how much money did he give me? He gave me a lot of money. He gave me a lot of money the one day, and then he came back around the next day and gave me a couple bands later, a couple more bands. So, why my baby dad is so worried about my nigga? My nigga is doing everything. He's doing more for me than you ever did. He's doing more for your daughters than you ever could. But he also got his shit he got to do too. That music shit is not easy. That shit's not cheap. So, once again, my nigga, he put me in a position to win. You haven't done shit. But like I said, I'm taking the risk that a lot of these bitches wouldn't take. Okay? Like I said... I don't care. I don't care if I gotta seem mental. If I gotta seem selfish, unloving, uncaring. I don't care. I'm, I'm telling everybody right now on this live. I love my kids, bro. I love my kids so fucking much that I'm doing this for them. I love my kids that I'm taking a risk that's gonna hurt me at the end of the fucking day, but it's for them. Like I said, I don't have a lot of time on this earth. I just got out the hospital. So also, um, for those who've been hitting me up and da 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 da, I'm not hitting you back because I can't right now. I, I'm, no, I don't care right now. I love y'all to death, y'all my niggas and all this other shit, but no, I don't have time to, to none of that, okay? No, I'm, I'm about to be punching my clock. I don't care. I'm about to go ahead and get ready these kids so I can get this money for them. Because like I said, obviously it shows that when I leave here, they're not about to have nobody that's about to look out for them. So yes, I'm about to make me a GoFundMe page and I'm a, oh, I'm a, I, 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 okay, I don't even know where, I don't know what bank I can do where I can go to and open a trust fund for the kids, but I am, I'm, I don't care. I'm going to get rid of my kids. So I can get a whole bunch of money, better our lives and shit, and come back for them. I don't care. I'm going to take the risk that a lot of people ain't. Because like I said, my baby dads, they left the kids. They they up and left. And they ain't come up yet. These, these, these niggas have not come up yet, but they mad and they want to stop me from getting my money. It's cool. It's cool. I don't have to worry about none of that. Because like I said, before I punch this motherfucking clock, my kid's not about to be left with nothing. Or at least if I got something to do with it, my kid's not going to be left with nothing. Because these niggas, is not about to, they don't have nothing to offer my kids. They don't have no love, no nothing to offer my kids. So the best thing y'all really can be for a bitch is be the fucking babysitter. Because y'all can't be shit else. I'm sorry, that makes more sense. That makes just, per that makes perfect sense. And I'm not about to make it seem like I got every fucking answer because I don't. The fuck, I don't have an answer. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I just know that right now I don't have a lot of time, but I got all the opportunities in a, in a fucking world right now. The fuck? I literally just missed out on $25,000 because the nigga was so worried about what the fuck I'm doing that he didn't get his fucking kids. Like, why are you worried about what the fuck I'm doing? You chose your career path, my nigga? You wanted to stay on your mama's porch with the niggas. And when you jumped off and you found out shit wasn't what it was, that's not my fault. That is not my fault. Okay? This, this is the life you so desperately jumped off the porch for, my nigga. That's your bed. You made it. Okay, like I made my bed, I'm laying in it and I'm, I'm tidying up, I'm tidying up the corners as I go. I'm getting out every fucking wrinkle as I go. That's not my fault if you don't have that ambition that, I'm sorry, like bro, y'all, bro, this nigga Kike will really make it seem like he really out here pushing weight. Nigga, you are not pushing no bundles. Them, them bundles of the pills and shit that you had, uh, however long ago, 
I bought that because I got tired of you not having no fucking money. The fuck? You obviously don't have the work ethic, so you can't go get a fucking job. You want to be in everybody's motherfucking face and do, doing everybody's fucking drugs, my nigga. You might as well here. <laughs> how, how much did I pay for that bundle? I wish I wish this nigga was on the live to tell me so he could tell y'all how much I paid for that goddamn bundle of perks and pills and zans and whatever the fuck. That nigga was up. I mean, up, up. Literally up as fuck because i put that shit in his hand because you're not about to keep being in my motherfucking pockets and doing not doing shit the fuck here how much is it for the bundles all right here you go go get that bundle the nigga went to go get the bundles he sold 30 pills and did the rest so how am i mad how am i bitter i gave you the sauce like i gave you i i picked up the kitchen my nigga and put it on your plate and you still fucked it up that is not my problem that is not my problem. Hi. Yes, sir. Hi. Um. You. Oh, I gotta see. Yeah, just give me a second. But shut that window, please. Yeah, just give me a second. But yeah, like I gave you the fucking sauce. That is crazy. See, Arnisha, when I tell you I fucking love you, because everything you be saying, be shit I already looked at. I need to find a boarding school, because the one, I'm trying to remember which one, which one I was looking at, but it was just like, I looked at it, and I was just like, oh, hell no. But I have thought about a couple boarding schools. To be honest, um, yeah, I, I would like, it's, it's hard, though, like, I don't know. I'm gonna definitely look, I'm gonna look back into boarding schools. So I'm not gonna make it seem like I did like a shit ton of fucking research. I looked at like maybe four different boarding schools, just all around different places. And I wasn't really fucking with none of the ones that I did see. So it kind of discouraged me. So I said, eh, fuck that. So I'm, I'm gonna definitely go back and relook into the boarding schools and shit. But, um, but yeah. But outside of that, like I literally gave this nigga the fucking kitchen to cook and go eat. And he still fucked it up. That's not my fault. So you fucked up the bag. That's not my problem. You just, no, he fucked up the bag. That nigga sold 30 pills and did the rest. And thought I was about to go buy him another bag. No, you obviously don't know how to make no money. Once I see you don't know how to make no money, I can't fuck with you. I don't want to even be your friend. Anybody knows this about this. Anybody, anybody who knows me, I stand on principles. Um, yeah, it's the principle is lo honesty, loyalty, trust, respect, and, um, communication. Those are mainly, my kids, money, and my principles, and all that shit. That's all the shit that I fucking stand on. So, once I see you can't make no money, you ain't got no drive for yourself, you can't teach me nothing, and I can't teach you nothing, what the fuck is we friends for? The fuck, that's why I got my kids. I can be friends like that with my kids. If you just as old as me, I get. Let, let me, let me, let me rephrase this. Because... The household that I grew up in, we had to teach ourselves damn near everything that we fucking know now. So I'm not going to make it seem like, oh, just because you don't know something, you can't, I can't fuck with you. Because you have to, you have to, you know, learn it from somewhere. So just because you don't know how to hustle or you don't know how to get this money or that money or whatever the fuck. Cool, I could work with you, but it's like once you can't help somebody who don't want to be helped, if that makes sense. So if I give you the sauce, excuse me. If I give you the motherfucking pizza sauce and you turn that shit into ice cream, that's not my motherfucking problem because you could have just you could have just made eight slices from that motherfucking pizza sauce, but yet you just you settle for a scoop because it was better. I don't know, it's a weird ass analogy, but the fuck y'all get it? <laughs> y'all fucking get it. So I don't I don't know, that's not my motherfucking problem. Shit. Shut it now. I'm not gonna fucking say it again. So yeah, but it's like I, I'm not about to hold hold these niggas' hands. I'm not about to do it. The fuck, like, and that's really why they're fucking mad because life. I don't give a fuck who you are. Life is always gonna be better with Lex. It is, and that's exactly why the same niggas they always try to come back around. Actually, now that I think about it, um. Hold on, y'all, because I was like, I, I was like, I want the FT, but I don't really like smoking tobacco. But I want this banana. But anyway, so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just settle for the FT because I don't feel like chewing and talking and shit. But um, yeah, like every, you're, 
life is always going to be better with Lex. But the reason why Lex is always single or it seems like Lex is jumping from person to person. Uh, yeah, I probably am. Well, let me, not, not the last two years I've been sticking with the one, but I'm just saying before then, yeah, I am because you ain't shit. You don't want to grow. You don't growth and prosperity instability is all i'm after for me and my kids so if you if you have anything that's going to get in the way of that i don't want to be your friend i don't give a fuck how ghetto you could be the hoodest nigga on earth as long as you got that motherfucking drive and ambition in you my nigga and you loyalty and you genuine i can fuck with you like we ain't even got to be a best of you just got to be trustworthy for me to get some money with you if that makes sense but if i see you i don't know the moment i see you slack off a little bit or you say some dumbass shit that's gonna make the whole motherfucking shit fall bro you all go right ahead, my nigga. You have that shit. Shit. Literally. My baby dad, not, he, he, I swear to God, that nigga's so motherfucking mad now because I'm not with him. No, because <laughs> when he, when I was with him, his kids was getting shoes. Um, Amir was getting Christmas presents, birthday presents, and shoes. So was Junior. Uh, Amaya was getting shit. Fucking, he actually sent the white bitch $1,500 of my motherfucking money so she could pay her motherfucking bills. But, Lex ain't say shit about that. I went ahead and just hit my cut. Because you thought you was about to look out for everybody on my motherfucking diamond and become the big motherfucking nigga. No, what? No. That's why he's really mad. Let's talk about it. Shit, I'm not mad. Shit, yeah, I was salty as fuck when you did me dirty when I was pregnant, but I didn't have to pass that shit. I'm not pregnant no more. I haven't been pregnant for almost three years. Yeah, so it's really nothing I can be mad about what the fuck we got going on. The only thing I want that nigga to do is motherfucking grow up and be a man for his fucking kids. Outside of that, whatever you got going in his life, hopefully that shit get better or worse. I don't fucking know. It ain't got shit, it ain't got shit to do with me. I mean, obviously for my daughter's sake, I hope everything I need to like it better. But outside of that, I really don't give a fuck what the fuck I need to get going on. Shit. I'm, I'm honest, I really wish a lot of y'all bitches would stop hitting up asking if y'all niggas is right here with me. No. They're not. They're really not. I mean, honestly, to be honest, although they really not, if you gotta, if you gotta look and help another bitch to find your nigga, then is that really the nigga you want to keep? No, don't get me wrong. I got that one person that I'm rocking with. Like I'm single. Don't get me wrong. I'm single as fuck. So if I do decide I want to go fuck somebody else, I can do that. Oh, y'all can't sing for shit. I'm going down. Oh, go upside down. I don't, even know, I don't even know if that's what the fuck she said, to be honest. Mm. I don't want to play this song because, yeah. Y'all about to be back. I'm CPS building. I don't even got nothing I want to say. <clears throat> been I was at the firehouse for like three hours and I was trying to figure out what to do and then they called the cops and then the cops came and then I talked to the cops and then and they brought us up here to children's services so with that being said 
before they take custody of them, does anybody want them? So, yeah. Now they reached out. No response, no nothing, and I'm tired, I'm over it. I love the fuck out of them, but like I said, if anybody wants to take custody of them or whatever, we are up here at Children's Services. She about to walk back in here. Hey, what's your plan for tonight? We're gonna have you sit in the lobby. I've got to interview the kids. Um. So, um. Did you? Did the police bring you in with the kids? No, I drove. I just followed them. Okay. And they had the kids in their car. Did you? Yeah, they had the kids and the medic with them. Okay. So if you want to sit in the lobby, I'm going to interview them, and my supervisor's going to look for a plan to see if we can come up with something. Um, but currently, agency does have custody. The police gave us custody. I don't know if they explain that to you. Mm-mm. When the police bring the kids in, they give us what's called law. It's an emergency oh, yeah. custody um, just because they have concerns. Um, yeah, because I'm, I'm overwhelmed. My health yeah. is... Yeah, like, it's, I don't have no help with them at okay. all. So, I'm going to go back and interview the kids, and right now, um, it's out of dependency, so it's no fault of anybody's, mm-hmm. um, but anything can change. If somebody tells me something, it could be different, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Um, I have a question. Um, I have, like, I still have, like, clothes and stuff. Can I bring their clothes up here, or do you guys get all new clothes, or? Um, it will depend, um. Depending on where they go, if they go to a foster home, they'll provide the clothes. They don't usually take clothes from outside because of bed bug concerns and stuff. Yeah, although I don't have none, but yeah. Okay, I know, but you no, know, I know. same from foster parents. <laughs> I would, I would feel the same. Um, yeah, if you're bringing kids into your home, you're not going to always trust that. And no. if they have special things like blankets or toys, you when you get assigned a caseworker, you can always work with her on that for him. Um, for that, but if you don't mind, we'll go back to the lobby. If you don't mind sitting there, or you want to sit here, it's up to you. Um, it really don't matter, but um, because this is how you're overwhelmed, because I love them, and and this is hard. Like, this is this is killing me. Yeah, but it's for the better. Like, it's it's for me to get my life better and focus on my schooling, my career, my health. Number one, my health, so I don't fucking die. Because I can't do shit for them if I if I'm dead. I can't stop stressing if I don't have help, you know? Mm-hmm. So and it's like, that. and it's like the dads didn't want to help me. They wanted to see me beat. I done lost everything so many mm-hmm. fucking times. But you know what? Like I said, I'm going to come back for them. And as far as the whole, as far as, as, far as the whole um, foster whole thing, like, will it be open? Will I still be able to, like, see them, well, bring them gifts yeah. and stuff? Like, what they'll do is they'll set up visitation you usually here at the agency or a designation place whatever the court orders and you'll be able to see them weekly okay so, that's even better uh, that i can still see them oh yeah you'll get to see them and, and i can still provide for them right correct you birthdays can bring them gifts and have all that because we're going to encourage that because our goal is reunification to get you the help that you need so you're not overwhelmed and that you can you know, provide for your kids. I can tell that you care for them. You're just completely overwhelmed. I get that. Yeah, because, like, it's only so much I can do. I mean, I just finished my last medical class today, so it's like I just have to study for my... What school did you go to? I'm in two different colleges right now. Okay. Um, one is through OSU for my national, my national medical assistant license. And then the other one, um, I should be finished next year with my bachelor's, and that's Full Sail University for my bachelor's degree in audio production and music music recording with a concentration in communication okay and what college is that full cell okay 
Okay, but if you want to chill back here, I just got to go interview the kids at Cross TV. I know the little ones won't be able to, but... And if you ask Alex, it'll be everything from dinosaurs to siren head. <laughs> but you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. They're they're intelligent. Yeah, they seem like good kids. They are so. into um, cause they they do they like um, cause you know I told you we watch documentaries and stuff. So they are into a lot of Greek mythology, um, in like Indian myths and folklore. So yeah. I like Greek mythology. I'm pretty good at it. So. Yes. Um. So some. Maybe if you have to try to open the yeah. light or something, you know, um, maybe talk about skinwalk, you know, something. Yeah. And I can say goodbye to them before I leave. Oh, them. yeah. I'll, I'll talk to the supervisor and see if they'll let you. I can't make that decision, but hopefully they'll let you. I'm not sure, but that'll be up to a supervisor. And it is fine. Because um, sometimes saying goodbye is harder for the kids. And I made sure I told them that earlier. I, t- I made yeah. sure I told them that there's nothing wrong. And they didn't do anything wrong. And I don't want them to think that they're not enough. Because they're everything I ever wanted. <laughs> they're everything I ever wanted. Um, and you got to hug them and stuff already. Yeah. Yeah. And as I told them, it's I'm coming back for them. I don't yeah. care. y'all. I'm telling yeah. you. Respectfully from my mouth. Whatever hoops you guys throw at me. Whatever. What, no matter how you guys try to spin it. I'm coming back for my kids. And I am going to get my kids. Yeah. But in the meantime... I can't do anything for them if I can't help myself. Mm-hmm. So, however you guys look at it, this is me taking a risk that most mo- mothers wouldn't take because this is mm-hmm. killing me. This is fucking killing me. But it's like their dads didn't want to help me. Like literally, like I don't lost everything so many times. My daughters are in three different therapies every week. I'm driving everywhere from literally Mansfield and. Uh, fucking mansfield zanesville delaware clintonville everywhere through ohio sometimes actually they had an appointment in indiana literally no help no nothing they wanted to see me fall they wanted to see me crack they wanted to see me break they got that for right now only right now because i'm getting my kids back and when i do nobody's gonna hear from us we're gonna be better than ever this this is a this is a a little setback Mm -hmm. this is exactly i'm gonna call it so however you guys spin it whatever you guys do this is what I'm going to have the last laugh in the end. For you, you can make all this a stone. Do what you need to do for your family. Yeah, I, I already told you. I already got it. I already have it yeah. planned. Like, and we're going to need you to stick around it for a minute anyway. And I'll talk to my supervisor. So you can stay back here and be comfortable. It's up to you. Or if you want to go up front and set. Or some, either way. I need some air. Okay, you can come up front. I'll walk you out. Because you can get out without that. I'll shut the door so you don't understand. But you can get air and then I'll be back out. I'm not sure how long it'll be. But okay. I'll be out as soon as I can. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bad, uh, little the what? Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh yeah. Yeah. I figured it was wrong. Um. Take it back no. Because no. those... I brought all the kids a coat and a jacket because I know okay, it gets I cold can take and it stuff. Back to the room where they're, at. they're they're not gonna throw their stuff away and no, stuff. No, they won't throw their stuff away. They'll need a coat. I didn't know if I should bring blankets or or what. They have blankets back there for them, so they're good. All right. They have beds too. y'all wanted it now y'all got a front row seat to my to my shit and i don't care about no judgment no no comments no oh lex i would have did this i would have did that no the fuck y'all bitches wouldn't because y'all would have helped me when i asked it so it is what it is i died a long time ago
just saw your thing, so I need to go. I don't know why y'all texting and calling me. I don't know y'all. I obviously don't want to fucking talk. I've been talking. I've been fucking talking. I'm done tired. I'm tired of talking. Tired of trying. Tired of... Tired. Tired as fuck. Ain't no motherfucking way. Ain't no motherfucking way I do every fucking thing for... No, I'm cool. For a minute, I did have every, every fucking thing together, but my um my baby dad was so not. I don't. How can I put it? I'm I'm quick to tell everybody. I ain't never tried to lie, no nothing. I got my up moments and I got my down moments, but I'm always have my down moments before I have my up moments. But when I do have my up moments, it's over, over. It's always a, a nice fucking amount of fucking money. Y'all know, like when I do get my up moments, a bitch is fucking up, but. It's only so many t- so many times I can be up because I don't literally have no type of fucking help with my kids. Like literally just last night, my twin sister, no, the night before last night, I told her um, that, hey, you know, I got this little job or whatever. I'm about to go to this job and shit or whatever the fuck. She's like, oh, well, I need a break. I'm tired. And I'm like, well, I'm sorry. I got business to handle. I'm going to go to this job. But what I am going to do, I'm going to just go ahead and take the kids and then, you know, take them home, put them to sleep so I can just try to go make this money or whatever. So... She gets mad and calls me a bitch. Like, I really won't suck the fuck out of her. So I just went ahead and left because I'm not... I would have sucked the dog fuck out of her, but I ain't trying to have the bitch seize. But it's like, you're not about to get mad because you said you wanted to watch the kids when I didn't fucking ask you and think you're about to call me a bitch like I'm not about to dog walk the fuck out of you. So I blocked all my sisters. I blocked all my family because I don't like none of them bitches. I don't give a fuck about none of them bitches. I'm cool. I cut my ties with family. I cut my ties, obviously, unfortunately, with my kids. Um, I don't have a boyfriend, but the nigga I was fucking, that nigga, I cut my ties with him. I'm cool. I don't want to talk to nobody. I don't want to be around nobody. I'm cool. Like, except for me talking on here, I'm done. And it's cool. It's, it's cool. I don't have nobody to help me, but you know, I'm about to help myself. And there, I know for a fact, just, I don't know if y'all heard me. I know for a fact that they, they're about to turn it into a whole bunch of bullshit and make it hard for me to get my kids back. But oh, oh, fucking well. Oh, fucking well. I don't even fucking care because you know what? If the dads didn't fucking care, why the fuck do I got to care? Uh, and you know it's sad because i do fucking care i obviously fucking care i love the fuck out of them and i'm gonna come back for my babies and i'm gonna get them the fuck and i'm gonna get them the fuck back but i'm doing what i have to do what's best for me and you know what <clears throat> and i know for a fact it's hell of you it's a whole bunch of you weird ass bitches on this motherfucking live happy as fuck to see me crying right now happy as fuck to see me going through this and you know what <clears throat> If I was you, I would be happy too because even still you bitches couldn't fuck with me. And that's why. And that's why you're happy now because you think I'm really going through it. Yes, I'm going through it because I love my kids. Other than that, you 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 bitches not about to touch me. And it's literally, literally y'all happy to see me crying and whatever because y'all couldn't fuck with me and get me bothered no other fucking way. So y'all about to use y'all about to see me bothered now. Obviously about but obviously it's my kids. That's probably, literally, I'd be telling everybody, that's the only fucking thing I give a fuck about is my kids. Once I ain't got no kids, it's over. It's over. But now, it's not like, right now, it's not about to be over because I'm about to do everything I can to get back on my, okay, let me not make it seem like I'm all the way off my feet because I'm not. I just have a lot of shit going on right now. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fix this shit. Get my kids back. I don't give a fuck if it takes a couple months, a couple years. I already talked to my motherfucking kids, and I even filmed the conversation, too, because I already knew what the fuck these bitches was about to do. But at the same time, this is all I can do as a fucking single mom. Because even... Yeah. And my heart breaks for me, too. And it does, but you know what? I'm gonna be okay. I done went through the worst shit alone. And I'm going to go through this alone. And you know what? 
I've already talked to my kids. They understand. And I know they understand. And I've already told them it's okay to feel how you feel inside. Because I'm feeling the same way. Just know when y'all go to sleep and when y'all wake up, I'm thinking about y'all too. But it's fine though. It's so fine. Because motherfuckers are going to wish they loved my kids the way I'm about to switch this shit around. This is when I did this, I did it p being prepared to lose relationships with my family. I already didn't give a fuck about my family to begin with, for real, for real. Let's be honest. It's a couple of them that I still rock with, and I actually do fuck with. The other ones I can care, I can care fucking less about. Um, but I did. I made this decision. Because, of course, I'm not going to lie. Yes, my family, keep them, keep them, keep them. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I don't have time to figure shit out. I have shit going on now. I need solutions right now. I need to be able to get the fuck up and go make this money now. Like, I need to... I don't have a lot of fucking time and nobody gets that. I'm not scared to fucking die. I don't care about dying. I don't care. I care about leaving my kids with nothing. Knowing damn well I'm the only motherfucking person on this earth who loves them and i literally mean it because it shows it fucking shows the cops even before they brought us to before they took my kids to children's services the cops tried to call kendrell and he said i got two other kids on the way so i can't take them obviously all the niggas dead but like, literally and i cannot fucking wait because when i <laughs> not too much information no i'm not gonna say too much but I made this decision right here, knowing I was about to lose bonds with my mom forever, knowing I'm about to lose my sisters forever. I already, prepa I already prepared because to, to be honest, motherfuckers wasn't doing shit for me anyway, but fucking trying to judge every fucking move I fucking made, downplaying me, doing weird ass shit for people who don't give a fuck about them, like just weird as fuck. Like I don't give a fuck about my family. I already did. I made this move knowing I was about to lose my family. I didn't give a fuck because I barely had the bitches in the first place. Literally, their friends is always more important. Like, I'm not worried about nobody like that. I could care less. So, yes. The only thing I ever gave a fuck was about was losing my fucking kids. And I don't know if a lot of y'all already know. They had already taken my kids for a year and a half because my son's dad died. And when they when he died, they they lied on me and said I did it. Children's Services took my kids away, literally, for the false allegations. No, I don't need mental help. My heart's broken. I'm a little fucked up emotionally, but that's probably the only mental that my that I need is an um, emotional counselor or some shit. But I'm cool because I don't need no type of mental help. I'm not mental. I'm not going through whatever the fuck. I don't fucking know. I'm just not going through nothing mental. Everything I got going on is some straight bullshit, unfortunately. But at the same time, I have this plan. I don't know what else to do. This this was my... I did multiple, 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 multiple cries for help. Nobody said shit. Nobody did anything. And actually, no, when it got really, really fucking bad, really fucking bad, and I'm talking about long, long, long ago, when it got really bad and I really had nobody to fucking turn to, nobody, and I'm talking about it was worse than this shit right here. Actually, no, that's a fucking lie. No, actually, no, it sure the fuck was way, way worse than this. When I broke down, I didn't, it wasn't how, I, I literally broke down and I actually went fucking mental. I mean, I literally fucking went mental. Nobody to talk to, nobody, nothing, but everybody, oh, don't believe Les, don't talk to her, she's, she's insane, she's insane, she's, I wish I fucking was insane. But now, now I'm not, I have a fucking plan. Like I said, regardless of whatever, how long it takes to get my kids back, 